Hi everybody. This is whoops, Mr. Folly. And welcome to podcast. Whoops, we're not in the threes. We are in the fours. We're gonna say hello, I'm an acid, and you're gonna learn all about naming acids. So let's do it. First of all, all acids start with the letter H. So see how this is an acid? H C L I say that H says hello. I'm an acid. H2S is an acid. See that H says, hello, I'm an acid. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hello, I'm an acid. Hello, I'm an acid. So anything that starts with an H, to me it says, hello, I'm an acid. Now you need this to know this. If it ends in I, like if I'm chloride, sulfide, notice these don't have O's. No O. Um, it's going to be hydroic acid. So HCl, Cl is chloride, it's going to be hydro chloric acid. H2S, S is sulfide, hydrosulfuric acid. See how that stem comes from the base of the word. It, um, the way I remember this is itis. If you have gingivitis, you have swollen gums. If you have dermatitis, you have swollen skin. Itis is an ending of a word that means, and you figured it out already, didn't you? So it comes from us. Or it will give you us. So sulfite, hey, I memorized that one, becomes sulfurous acid. Notice the stem's the same, it's sulfur. Nitrite becomes nitrous acid. Not nitrogen or whatever, but just nitrous. And you should be able to figure those out there. Eight. I remember ick. I ate it. Phosphate becomes ick. Phosphoric acid. Chlorate comes chloric acid. Examples. Sulfuric acid, ick, I ate it. That means it comes from sulfate. Sulfate, from your ion sheet, is SO4 negative 2. To make it an acid, I need to add H positives. Oh, I need to add two of them, H2SO4. See how that works? It takes two H's to balance that out. Hydro, ick, comes from ide. Chloride is Cl, periodic table, uh, negative 1. So to add the right number of hydrogens, it's HCl. Sulfurous acid, us, it, us, comes from sulfite, SO3 minus 2. Make it an acid. That takes two H's, H2SO3. Hydrocyanic acid, hydroic, means it comes from cyanide. Ooh, that's CN negative. Well, it takes one H to balance that charge, HCN. Uh-oh, C2H3O2 negative one, acetate. Acetate, ick, I ate it, becomes acetic acid. H2C2, oh, type O, type O, type O, ooh, 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 ooh. C2O4 is oxalate. And that becomes oxalic acid. Eight, ick, I ate it. NO2 is nitrite. So remember, you get gingivitis. So this is going to be nitrous acid. I is iodide. So it is hydro iodide, iodic acid. Yeah. Acids are molecules. Acids must be aqueous or they are ionic solids. Okay? They will be aqueous unless they specifically indicate they are not. So we're going to assume that all acids are aqueous. So if I give you some search, then H says, hello, I'm an acid. It won't be a solid. It will be, hello, I'm an acid. How do I tell what to do again? Look at the first letter. If it's an H, oh, I'm an acid. If it's a metal, check for Romans and name the ions. And that's pretty much it. Idea name these. Ah, oh, it starts with, hello, I'm an acid. This is nitrate. So it is nitric acid. FES, okay, that's iron, so it's not an acid. Ooh, it's Roman. Sulfur is minus two from the periodic table. So iron must be iron two sulfide. And it's ide because there's no oxygens. NH4, I know that, that's ammonium. SO4, I know that, sulfate. That's a metal, so that's potassium. Is it Roman? Mm, it's in group one, so no. So I just need to know this guy. 
Hey, I know that. That's phosphate. How do you know those so quickly? I love my ion list. Hey, that's not a metal. That's a non-metal. Oh, non-metals use prefixes. Hepta, sulfur, whatever. Hepta, sulfur, known oxide. It's bothering me now what the sulfur is. Um, there you go. Review. Hello. I'm an acid. Ick, I ate it. And no senior-itis. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Nah, toodles.